All right, eight most disturbing things caught on dash cam footage. I fucking love dash cam videos, bro. This dash cam video was captured in Nuevo Laredo in Mexico. Oh. A man and his wife had just crossed the border into the country in the early morning hours of January 3rd, 2020. Shortly after, they were met by this sight. Cars stopped at a light, blocking the road with multiple people standing nearby. No, uh cartel. As the driver approaches, the car in the middle lane pulls forward and the people outside gesture the driver to pass through. However, Bro. just as he tries to do so, a pickup oh! in the corner and blocks the open path. That's when the people outside begin banging no, no, the no, 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 they're gonna get the fucking robbed, hands. bro. Oh my god. Nah, I'm dipping through that corner. Nah. No! Oh my god, that's so scary. Ruthless, dude. Oh, what'd I say? What'd I say? Oh my god, run. Run. Use every bit of horsepower in that car, bruh. Move! Oh my god. Leave. Whew. Jesus, dude. The group does whatever they can to get the vehicle to stop. But the quick maneuvers of the driver allow him to speed around the blocking vehicles and get away back in the opposite direction. Oh my god. Groups such as this one are commonly known to set up roadblock traps like this in different areas. Typically, they'll be looking for passing trucks to steal. Which they'll then use for a multitude of different Bro. purposes. I would I would be so scared to live in Mexico with a nice car. Like, is that even a thing? Can you even have nice cars in Mexico? You probably have to be in really bougie parts of Mexico, right? Because, like, I've seen too many of these damn videos. I bet there's compilations of, like, cartel attempted hijacks caught on dash cams. However, they'll also Ruthless, steal wallets, dude. cell phones, and other valuable items from these unsuspecting drivers. Multiple reports of stolen items Dude. and cars were filed that morning. Bro, they got a method and everything. James Shaw Jr. was a self-proclaimed auto enthusiast. He owned a Subaru Forester, <laughs> commonly taken out for joyrides. <laughs> Is this the one where he falls off the cliff? <laughs> January 4th, 2015, James was out on Angeles Crest Highway for a scenic ride through the San Gabriel Mountains in Los Angeles County. <laughs> Y'all remember this from the other Crest video, bro? It's one of the highest elevated roads in Southern California. What an idiot! James was nearing two tunnels and recalls speeding up because he said the echo from the tunnels made the exhaust sound better. <laughs> However, the road had a sharp turn directly after the second tunnel, something James didn't know at the time. Oh my god, look how terrible he takes this. Look how terrible Something he takes this turn. There was less <laughs> of which was and then, his I don't... I don't even know how he did that. First of all, that exhaust, I, I don't know where you got that exhaust, if it was off of like Amazon or something, but clearly this car isn't made for drifting by the sound of it. It sounds like someone got like a, like a toilet paper roll. Look, he doesn't even drift or try to, nope, right off the cliff. Don't worry, he's okay. He's okay. They'll probably say it. James's car hurls over the edge. <laughs> However, in a sheer stroke of luck, a drain pipe sticking out from the slope catches his car, saving him from crashing down the mountain. Always oh, a drain which pipe. Certainly would have been fatal. On top Bruh. of that, James was left. Damn. Someone was trying to argue with me in the comments. They're like, clearly Max doesn't know anything about cars because these cars are uh, really good rally cars. Since when do you see these in rally races? You'll see like. Subaru STIs and stuff in rally races. Not these fucking station wagons. I know there's probably STI versions of these, but they're probably not the best at drifting and shit. Either become a better driver or get a car that matches your personality because bro clearly doesn't... <laughs> bro needs something else, for sure. Crash. He shut off the motor and stepped down onto the drain pipe. From there, he climbed back up to the road and called for assistance. A recovery tow truck retrieved the car but it was completely totaled. A year later, he posted the dash cam footage online acknowledging <laughs> his mistake and hoping others would be able to learn from it. He ultimately Bruh. admitted that he wasn't paying full attention and had mistakenly assumed the road continued straight after the second tunnel. People with actual sports cars were probably like, what the fuck is bro doing, dude? Dudes with the Corvette or whatever the other car was. <laughs>
Bro, no way he uploaded that himself. He probably got bullied in those comments, dog. Dashcam footage was taken on June yeah. 2nd, 2022. It happened in Australia. The driver of this vehicle had both a front-facing and rear-facing camera. Around 5 p.m., the driver was pulling up to a red light to turn left. Hold up, hold up. Can't even see the rear-facing. Let me move my camera. Hold on. Here we go. In the rear-facing camera, a Mercedes can be seen pulling up just behind it. Almost immediately after, the driver's side door swings open. A man gets out and starts quickly approaching the vehicle, holding some sort of metal object. You want some rob a Mini Cooper? There's nicer cars than that, dude. Oh. Oh, I Which wonder what car it was. The driver happened to be looking in the rearview mirror when the door opened, which gave him enough time to react. He was forced to drive off the road and through a patch of grass, cutting three cars in front of him. I thought he was in the Mini the Cooper. That was just a front-facing camera. The driver who uploaded the footage doesn't know what the man wanted. He mentioned how it was possible he could have cut off the Mercedes earlier on the road without knowing, but evidence of this was never found anywhere in the footage. Damn, but like... He could have been trying to rob the driver. Yeah. Or maybe even worse. There's no clear way of knowing for sure. No way someone gets that angry of someone cutting them off. They come out with a fucking baton on their ass. On August 1st of 2021... A forest fire in California, later named the Antelope Fire, was started by lightning. Oh my god. Over the next few days and weeks, the fire quickly started spreading. During that time, multiple groups of fire trucks around the area were sent out to try and contain it. The footage you're seeing was taken at 1 in the morning on September 10th. This truck 1 was in one the morning? It's all lit up! Night. They were driving on a road that was close to the fire. But, because of the wind's direction at the time, they quickly got overrun. Oh my god. I mean, this was all fine when we were driving down here <clears throat> two hours ago. I Damn. When it got away from us back there, went a little bit deeper. Transit into... for real. 244, engine 1671, keep driving as fast as you can. Come on. Yeah. Oh my, I would be tripping. Yeah, we need to go. This guy's driving slow, but we need to The fire's like go. red. Drive. Hell nah. Drive, bro. Holy. Engine 334, 1671. Where are you? Are you on section 14 yet? Go. Hey, 334 is going to the other way. This guy needs to drive. North? Nah, I'd go around, bro. We're yep. South. Oh. Later, bitch. Hey, we're backing go! Up. Uh, we're cut off from heading north. Out of Copy that. Yeah, we're, we're just going to turn around. Oh, we're my down. God. Oh, my the road in front of them had been engulfed by the flames, but by now, so was the road behind them. This forced them off the road to find another path. So unlucky. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way! Oh my god! That car's a tank! Holy shit, dude! Go, 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 go. No, we didn't see this already. We saw the one in Australia. The other one, they were in a fire truck. I, this doesn't look like a fire truck. Oh my god, are they stuck? Holy shit. Road, road, yep. Get on the road. Bro. Come on. Get on that road. I'm trying. Bro, oh. Legit looks like transit, dog. What do you do? Do you help him? Oh, dude. They lost some people? Go. Holy. Holy. Bro, they lost some people? Oh my god. Finally, they reach a clearing and make it out of the fire. Oh, some of the other trucks wouldn't be as lucky. A few of those trucks would be pretty badly damaged. But, other than one of the drivers receiving burns to his hands, every firefighter made it out uninjured. Oh, it wouldn't be until October Jesus. 15th until the fire was 100% contained. Oh my god, dude. Give me a heart attack. I thought like a, cu like a couple groups of people died. In Slovakia back in 2012. A family was taking a drive on a narrow country road with trees closely packed on both sides. Eventually, they come across a fallen tree covering the whole other side of the road. However, they continue on. But just in front of them, they find another. 
No, does the tree fall on them, dude? No. As they approach the second one, cracking can be heard just in front of them. No! A tree was falling, and it started a domino effect with more trees falling closer and closer to their vehicle. The family attempts to reverse out of there. Oh my the trees god! trees catch up to them and fall directly on top of their car. Oh my tree. god! Meanwhile, even more continue to fall on top of them. What happened? Oh, holy sh... Bro, look how it's fucking up that railing. Landslide? Oh, probably. Dog. What do you even do? Oh. Bro, the fact this is caught on camera, holy the tree shit. The was later discovered to be the result of what's known as ground destabilization caused by excessive amounts of rain. What? In the last eight days, it had rained pretty much non-stop in the area. This waterlogged the soil, making the ground loose, which oh. essentially made it so all the trees didn't have a firm hold in the ground. So when one so fell, unlucky. the force it put on the surrounding trees was enough to take them down with it. The vehicle clearly suffered damage. However, it's unclear if anyone inside of it was injured during the incident. You don't know? They could have died? The stash cam footage was taken from a pickup truck in Chile. The driver had just gotten on a highway on-ramp. As he continued forward, the vehicle just in front of him starts using their brakes to slow down. Nah, Eventually that road is too to narrow. Stop altogether. That's nah. when the vehicle's doors swing open. Two guys nope, tow mater, back up! Like a gun. Initially, the driver tries reversing out of there, but there was now a car behind him. Oh. This gave him no other option than to push forward. What? They look like they're in the big car, though. Like an F-150 or something. Yeah! Get out the way, bitch! Yeah, brother! Yeah! <laughs> Instant the karma, bro. For the driver to get onto the highway. <laughs> During the push, the brake lights of the attacker's vehicle are shown turning on. This has almost no effect on the. Pit. Wait, someone's in there? <laughs> the video was shown to police to help identify the men. It was also posted online. Yo. Which a few days later, the real owner of the vehicle used by the men recognized the car as their own. It turns out the car had been stolen a few days prior to this video being taken. This is what led police to believe that the men were also trying to steal the pickup. Bro, I bet that dude was tripping in the front this seat. This happened in Canada, north of Toronto, in May of 2021. The dash cam footage shows a vehicle driving down the road, when suddenly a plane streaks by just in front of it. Oh my god. Bruh! That was literally was feet! The hood of the vehicle. And it crash landed, hitting the ground in the long grass across the street. The plane no suffered damage shot. to its nose and sides. Two were inside the plane at the time, an instructor and a student. No. They were attempting a touch and go. Did they die? a training exercise where you land on the runway and slow down, only to accelerate again for another takeoff immediately after. Well, it's bro did not do that, right? Multiple takeoffs and landings in a short amount of time. However, this time the plane had failed to regain enough altitude when it tried taking off again forcing it to speed across the road into a crash. Bro. Fortunately, no yeah. one on ground was hurt. GTA shit. Neither the instructor nor the student received any major injuries. Whew, I thought they died. Damn. Yeah, that was literally feet away from the person in the car dying. This dash cam footage was recorded in May of 2020. Shown is a vehicle driving down the road in heavy rain and high wind. The area had been seeing storms like this for the last few weeks. As the driver pushes through it, up ahead, power lines begin to tip over. No. One of them gives out and takes many others down with it. <gasps> Fucking electro? Damn! The power lines explode as they hit the wet ground. Cables and debris are left strewn across the highway. Dude. A man on a motorcycle coming from the opposite direction can be seen stopping and running on foot into a field to get away from the wires. <gasps> and shortly after, the driver with the dash cam does something similar. Wait, why did he ditch the motorcycle? The Just drive! To a nearby what? dirt path. Power lines still exploding in the distance. I guess you have to, huh? That's fucking scary. It's unknown if anyone was injured during the incident. Yeah, because if you touch him, you might like... I mean, they're live wires still, right? Plus the water on the ground? I don't know. Yeah, you can still get shocked. That's what I figured. Damn. That was a lot. Holy shit. Nah, I think the fire one is the scariest. Like, what do you even do? 
or the tree one uh, that tree one is so unlucky like out of all the trees and of all the moments that you could be driving down that road fucking like six trees simultaneously fall on your car damn they must have like spit in someone's food or something to get that karma damn i'm convinced that was karma there's no way i would go longer but i have a flight in the morning i have a flight in the morning i'm, I'm gonna be back uh for like tuesday's stream i'm gonna miss tomorrow and saturday unfortunately but we're gonna get gaming videos out for you guys I gotta go on this trip. I'm going to hang out with David Laid, Lex, and a bunch of other people. So it's gonna be legendary, and I'm gonna get a badass uh, vlog out of it too. So double the content, and we're gonna get the gaming videos out.